this chick has to rank as one of the most annoying creatures in the history of earth kind Um, Stormfront. Now this is <laughs> so we're popping on. So this is, um, I believe, um, episode four that we're in of the the, the 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 boys. The boys season two. I believe we're on the fourth episode. Um, let's just see it. One, one, two, three, four. Yeah, fourth episode. Fourth episode. Yeah, fourth episode. So, um, things are going crazy. Things are going a bit mad, you know. So obviously, the whole is it um, compound V stuff. Stuff is out there, you know. Stuff, stuff is out there, and so forth. So they really did a big thing. So now the people in Vought are now sort of scrambling things up, you know. Shout out to your boy um, Gus from Breaking Bad, aka Giancarlo Esposito. He's also also in um, Usual Suspects. I think that are going crazy, but I think the big thing in this was, um, oh God, I forgot it, Frenchie's girlfriend, <laughs> Frenchie's girlfriend, and Frenchie's girlfriend's boyfriend. No, 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 Frenchie's girlfriend's brother, and how they're involved in all of that stuff, man. So that was really the the big thing that was really popping off in there. So the thing about that is, um, so. The superheroes gets called in because they they have to find this dude, you know, and that's why to find this this dude and, and, and so forth. Um, and they're running away. Oh, by the way, it, again, it just shows that every single time you watch this show, there's always something after that that happens. And another after thing that happens in this show is um, so the the boys are pretty much es escaping. Um, in the um, ship and everything because they blew up the whole police thing. The, as the um, Habro did. And then you see flipping your, your boy, Deep. Who, every single time Deep, you see, if I'm a whale, a dolphin, or an amphibian thing, I am staying clear away from Deep. Every single time that he's been next to one of these things, something bad happens. So they go through and everything and then they literally rip through a whale or a dolphin. I think it's a whale. And you're seeing Huey inside the literal blood and guts of a whale. And it's so shocking that he was like, look, I'm done. Because for me, I was like, I don't think I've ever even seen that in a TV show or a film. Like, a, 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 a yacht has literally spiked through the, the torso of a whale. And you see people end up in it and you see them go out and they've all got this blood and guts all hanging off of them and like but it's like oh my come on my oh, come on just a little bit oh, shut, shut up. give me a hand mate come on so um yeah look that was just wild man but look the the, the big thing about this was so this the, so the so the um the seven starts chasing um homeboy um the frenchies is it Kam Kam kamako Frenchie's girlfriend's um, thingy. So that happens. And then Stormfront really starts going through. And then first of all, I was like, wait a minute. Stormfront, why are you just killing everyone? Because I swear, she starts just zapping everybody. I'm like, okay, this, this seems a bit odd. This seems a, a bit weird. Then we now see Stormfront now get a hold of him. Break his hands, and then they say, "Man, you yellow bastard!" So obviously, she's a bit effed up, she's a bit extreme, and she's racist as well. So I was like, "Huh." Then I was watching the whole TV thing, and then the creator guy was because I said, like, "That is a crazy concept for a superhero," which I think they sort of alluded to a bit in in Watchmen. But having a crazy superhero who's a, who's who's a racist. Is a crazy concept to have, you know. Um, but obviously done in a kind of very real, proper kind of edgy kind of way. But just in a proper way of like a racist superhero who is just unhinged and just messed up. 
But then I then realized that um, there was some pushback that Stormfront was actually a guy. And he changed Stormfront, the greatest change Stormfront to a one woman. And I was like, wait a minute. So then looked at the comic and yeah, Stormfront, he's a guy <laughs> who looks nice, who looks who looks a bit eh, tricky. And this is just where, and this is just my big beef about how Stormfront is, is presented here. Before this episode, the way she was presented was, hey man, I'm all about women, but I'm like, I don't really care about this stuff. I'm like hip and all that kind of stuff. And she, because she was really stepping to Starlight in terms of why are you taking all this crap from all of, all of these guys and everything, you know, you should stand up for yourself. And like, you know, because remember she was, um, when they gave them the whole thing about the script of like, she was going up against the whole misogynistic and sexist things within the script. So I was like, okay, so you're woman's lip pretty much. But you're crazy evil and racist i'm like okay so what so you're a mouthpiece for women liberation and women being treated rest respectfully by your race it's confusing <laughs> which is what i think and that is where this show can be slipping where you're trying so hard to be political if they had made or introduced a storm front as a guy and the guy just messed up the guy is a nasty dude that's it's just where that the show now takes on a whole different because that could just be a very messed up, crazy character to bring into this, this this whole thing. That you have like a racist, raving lunatic, evil bastard of a superhero kind of dude. So, but the way they present this character, it just doesn't make sense. I'm like, what's happening? Because first of all, even before she did, did this, I found her annoying. I was like, okay, she's just you're just talking so much and all this stuff. Like, okay, yeah, we 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 get it, we get it. Women need to be treated better. We get it. We understand. You don't need to be banging me over the head with this, with this whole stuff. We get it. Cool. And now you're like some crazy psycho bitch, and then you basically break some dude's hands, and you're like so yellow back. I'm like the car. You see, the character feels contradictory and just feels messed up because you. It's 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 just weird. It's just weird. You know, because like, because now you're saying, okay, well, if you're racist, then anything you say about women's liberation means nothing because you're hypocritical. So how can you be preaching about, oh, women should be treated rest respectfully, but actually, I hate, actually hate Asians and I actually throw racial insults towards Asians. I'm like, okay, well, screw your woman's liberation crap then. So everything you said about women's thing, no, screw you, because why should I listen to, listen to you when you're a racist and evil dude killing innocent people? So yeah, build that look. Stormfront, I've... See, if you're going to make... For me, fine, make Stormfront a woman. But if you make Stormfront a woman, then stick to what she is. That, okay, she's a nasty, kind of racist, kind of quite a bit of a darker kind of char character you want to introduce into it. So, but I just think that you're making her hypocritical and contradictory, her being a mouthpiece for women's rights and stepping into starlight and so forth. But at the same time, she's like, oh, wow, she so it, it just doesn't really make any sense, you know. And I just hope that they didn't make Stormfront female because they wanted just to even push further this whole woman's... Because even me, I was reaching on that. Okay, in the seven, you've got three white women. In the seven, <laughs> you know. I'm like, okay. You know, like, obviously, you have the one black dude who's the writer. But yeah, like, out of the seven, you've got three white women there. And at every turn... They're trying to just tell about women's lip, women's... I'm like, guy, just chill. You have a great story here. A really good show here. Put the political crap to one side and just focus on you doing a crazy flip on superheroes and how these guys, the boys, are trying to take down these superhero kids, thing, things down. Just focus on the whole Paul Pinnation of the thing and don't give me this whole... Oh my, don't! Because what you're going to do, are you're just going to alienate fans. You're just going to frust frustrate people. Because guys are like, am I watching a piece of art, a TV show, or am I just watching a political message? Am I just watching people who are just political mouthpieces? You know? So, yeah, that's just my thing. But look, man, let's see what happens in the whole episode five. So, obviously, right now, obviously, the last thing that we saw was um, Frenchie's um, girlfriend pretty much aimed towards us. So really, she, she's really pretty much the villain of the show. And there's now like a kind of um, back and forth between her and um, Home, Homelander. Because Homelander's like, oh, who is this woman and everything? So I think that obviously the next thing is, okay, you now have like a loose cannon on the loose. And how do you stop that? But please, please, let's leave all that political crap out of this stuff and just focus on this just being a good quality show. I beg you, 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 man. 
Um, but um, the deep, that stuff with his fins and everything, that, that's, that's a bit wild. That's me. That's just, just a bit wild, man. But yeah, look, man. Remember to subscribe, like the video, and we'll be back here for episode 5. And please, no political crap. I, we get it. We, woman, we get it. Chill. Just give me a good TV show. Thanks, man. Become a Half Hope Source member and gain access to exclusive videos and also the chance to watch films, anime, or different videos with your boy HH exclusively. Just click below on the join button to join in and become a Half Hope Source member to gain access to these perks. Just click on the community icon over here to view the new members only posts just for you.